Hey guys, Mike Chan here in Singapore. It's the middle of the night. I'm at the gym. This is the best time to work out. There's nobody here. But ever since coming back into this country, my sleep schedule has been really out of whack. I think yesterday I went to bed at 10 a.m., woke up at 4 p.m. And right now, this is workout time for me. But even though I should be awake, I'm looking outside, it's all dark. It kind of makes me feel a little lazy, a little tired. So what I've been doing is, and this brings us to the sponsor of the video, Athletic Greens. I bring a travel pack of Athletic Greens to the gym along with a bottle of water. Do about a 10 minute warm up on the treadmill. Powder goes in, shake it up, about eight to 12 ounces of water, and drink. <sighs> At least for me, this has been really good whenever I need a pick me up, whenever I need some extra energy. Of course, it's something I take every single day to make sure my body has all the vitamins and minerals it needs because with every single pack or scoop of AG1, you get 75 vitamins and minerals, probiotics, whole food source, superfoods. Probiotics, of course, really good for your gut, and I definitely need a lot of that. And I told you guys before, when I used to travel, I will carry around at least half a dozen bottles of different vitamins, minerals. It's super complicated, it's super expensive, it's heavy. My suitcase rattles wherever I go. This is just a really convenient way to stay healthy. And since I no longer have to buy all these different vitamins and minerals, this replaces everything, so it's a really convenient way to stay healthy and great value as well. With every box, you get a big pack of AG1, travel bottle, travel pack, also a year supply of vitamin D. I've been taking this for over a year. I feel better, I have more energy, my workouts are better. And AG1 always follows the latest research. They go beyond third-party testing, make sure whatever they're giving you, you're getting the highest quality and the best nutritional daily habits on the planet. So if you wanna give it a try, get my link down below. You'll get a one-year supply free bottle of vitamin D, which you really should be taking every single day, and five free travel packs with your order. This is really a game changer for supporting your immune system. AG1 really does provide your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. All right, gonna finish my workout and uh, hot pot tour tomorrow. Good morning. So hot pot culture is huge in this country. There's hot pot places, mala tom places, mala xiangguo places, pretty much in every shopping center, in every hawker stall. There's even a road, and on this road, all I can see, like the whole street, is all you can eat hot pot places. We're definitely gonna go visit that at some point. But today I wanted to go to a couple hot pot places. They're both really unique and on two dramatically different price points. First one is pretty close to where I'm staying right now at Thompson Center. I walk by this place pretty much every single day and from what I understand when you eat there they, they give you a stuffed animal to sit. Let's go check it out. As soon as I walk through this corridor I smell food. Scallions. my routine pretty much every single morning because the subway station is also here. Freshly squeezed orange juice, two Singapore dollars, about a buck fifty. They give you four oranges to make the orange juice. Fruit juices in this country, especially through a vending machine, is just the best deal. They give you a free gift with every single table. And every time you eat hot pop here, they give you a stamp where you eventually you earn stuffed animals. The hot pop place I'm at right now is called Shirley Funk. It's probably the most popular discount hot pop place in Singapore. Lunch sets start at around $8.50 Singapore dollars. So about seven bucks, you can get a hot pop lunch set. It's really cute, there's tons of stuffed animals. Only thing is, it's really confusing. Look at this. This is all the menus here. One, two, three, 
menus. I'm gonna try out their regular lunch set, which again, starts at around $8. And then what's kind of cool is that if you come before 5 p.m., your a la carte menu is this kind of additional 20%. Really good deal. Each set, $8.80 Singapore dollars. Includes all you can drink. Includes the sauce bar, which is up there. You're able to select two broths with your water. Let's go check out the sauce bar. So she just came over and said that we can choose one. There's different ones of these and take it with us. It's free stuffed animal. The hot pot is converting to US dollars, about $6. I just looked it up. $6 right now with today's conversion rate. And you get a hot pot, a set meal, unlimited drinks, and a stuffed animal. So broth got the mala and uh, got a chicken broth. My chicken's not bad. This mala. Ooh, tons of heat, good amount of flavor. I'm not too shabby either. Broth is pretty good. So let me show you what you get in a set meal. You get a veggie platter, which includes tofu, carrots, enoki, mushroom, cabbage, lettuce, bok choy, wood ear, and you get a protein, which it's not a lot. I think the best value is to get the pork meatballs. So you get one, two, three, four, five, five solid sized meatballs. This is what I think is, is the best, best value of this place. Order the handmade noodles, in-house made noodles. Look at this, Biang Biang noodles. This is before the Biang Biang noodles is stretched. You're essentially getting hot pot with a free handmade Biang Biang noodle here. Two is definitely one full bowl of Biang Biang noodles. And before you eat it, you just call them, they'll come and stretch it for you. I'm gonna drop in all the ingredients that require a lot of cooking, like the tofu and the wood ear. This hot pot has a little enclosure here, so you can just put your more precious ingredients so it doesn't get lost everywhere. We've all experienced this. Losing awesome ingredients in the mass ocean that is a hot pot. I don't know whether it's the delicious broth I'm smelling or the value. I'm just so hungry for this. There's a pretty good taste in hot pot. Dipping sauce tastes good. They have pretty much every single sauce I want. Oh, sorry, it's so steamy. So far, so good with this thing. Have to move the camera a little bit. It's getting too steamy. Pork meatball, it's delicious. Mmm. Bouncy, a lot of flavor. I think they put some cilantro in here as well. Mmm. All the vegetables are fresh. You know, good mushrooms, delicious. Tofu is good. The broth has a really nice mala flavor. The spice level will definitely make you sweat. I think I'm almost ready for my noodles. Good bam bam noodles. Chewy texture, nice and stretchy, beautifully al dente, completely soaked and absorbed all that great mala flavor. Put a meatball on there, give it some soup. This is a pretty darn good lunch, especially for six US dollars. Where do you find a deal like this? Oh, that broth is so good too after it's been cooking all the ingredients. Mm. Again, this is gonna cost less than a McDonald's extra value meal. Why wouldn't you just eat here every single day if you could? After the noodles, I can feel myself, I'm good. Like I'm not incredibly overly sneezing my butt off full, but I'm satisfied. Especially if you get the noodles, that's a pretty substantial lunch. And if you're still hungry, drink the broth or get another noodle. I don't think I've ever found Hot Pot with as good of a value and flavor as this place in my life. I don't know how they pull this off, I really don't. I love it though. Pretty good Hot Pot meal and 
Gotta stop the animal. This is one of the greatest things. So pretty much every day there's a period of time where it just thunderstorms. During those time, just come home. I like to sit on my balcony because trees everywhere is pretty private. Get one of these coconut drinks, which are pretty much the best thing ever. And just sit and enjoy the rain. Oh, it's so refreshing. All right, take a little break. Maybe wash my shirt. And then we're gonna check on another hot pot place. Now for the other hot pot with a much higher price tag, Total. We have tea for people who are waiting outside. This is a pretty impressive first impression of a hot pot place I've ever seen. This is really, really nice. The vibe is a restaurant in ancient China kind of feel. And apparently there is an appetizer buffet. It's pretty much just the stuff that you'll get, like the peanuts and seaweed, stuff you usually get at the sauce bar. The recommended are Berkshire pork collar slices, Australian grass-fed short rib, and Australian lamb. There's live crab, lobsters, seafood, or look at this, assorted beef and seafood platter. That looks really beautiful. A vegetable platter. Whoa. One broth here is about 40 Singapore dollars. And they have Taiwan style spicy coconut chicken, fish with Sichuan pickle soup, Sichuan spicy, tomato, bovine bone with tomato base, fresh mushroom, triple flavor hot pot. Oh, a whole 118. And it's private room only. You can get a private room if you spend a minimum of $666. That is devilishly expensive. A ton of meat, including, of course, Wagyu. Um, there's that seafood tower again. Wow. Live gooey duck. Abalone. Wow. Look at that seafood combo. This is crazy pretty. Mashed prawn paste. Oh, wow. So a portion of these pork balls will equate to the whole lunch special. I got it at the other place. Vegetable platter, mushrooms, oh my gosh. Drinks, da hong pao, bubble tea. This might be the priciest hot pot I've ever been to in my life. No, not might be, I think this is. Might as well get the uh, yuan yum, the two flavor hot pot. I think the recommendation, at least online, is Taiwan style spicy soup with the tofu inside, and maybe either the coconut or the fish. I'm leaning more towards the fish because it looks like you get a bunch of fish in this broth, and that will probably justify the cost. Although I do want the tomato. I wish I could get three, three flavors, but I'm afraid to step into a private room where it costs 666 to get in. I'm gonna see if there's any lunch specials. If not, I can just get this seafood meat platter. Got as close of a set as I could find. A meat platter, meat seafood platter, and a veggie platter. And then of course the uh, the appetizer buffet. So let's see what's out there. This is a very unique looking hot pot. It's beautiful. It smells so, so good. The bubble tea has arrived. This is their house special bubble tea made with that Hong Pao, which is a brand of tea, very delicious tea. Anyway, like I was saying, it smells incredible. The fish smells great. You smell the spice, the mala, and there's so much ingredients inside the hot pot broth itself. yummy very nice very strong tea flavor is what I love in a good milk tea mm. bubbles are small and chewy 30% sugar this is good plus you leave a Google review this is free 
I'm leaving a Google review. So inside the soup base itself, look at this. Oh, this is the fish one. There's fish filet in here. Uh, sprouts, Chinese sour cabbage, numbing peppercorn, chilies. This is gonna be spicy, it's gonna be sour. It's one of my favorite dishes. And this is a Taiwan pot. So this thing has pig trotter inside, then giant cubes of tofu. And you can see cardamom, bay leaves. I don't think this thing has much numbing element to it. I don't see any peppercorn, but it's definitely spicy. Wow, sour cabbage fish soup is amazing. This tastes like the dish that I love. But now it's a hot pot wrap. Wow, the Taiwan spicy. It's very herby, a little medicinal tasting. Not bad, it's spicy, but I love the sour cabbage soup so much. They're still working on the soup. I wonder if they'll let me get a shot of what they're working on. It's pretty cool. Let's go take a look. The meat and seafood tower is here. This is a beautiful sight. Beef on the bottom, fresh clams. Second layer, the seafood layer. There's salmon, abalone, prawns, scallops, razor clams. Fresh tofu skin. Also, I forgot to introduce the veggie basket. Lotus, corn, lettuce, spinach, gnocchi, mushrooms, shiitake mushroom, dry tofu, fish tofu woodier and then putting together this tower was a very labor intensive and really fun to see process so the beef is freshly sliced the clams are shucked fresh from the fish tank all the seafood is meticulously prepared it's a beautiful tower the primer looks almost ready the beef is ready the appetizer bar is really just seasoning for the hot pot. Prawn, suck on the head first. Mm. That's really, really good. They have their own already made seasoning, so this is a Thai chutney. Mm. That's pretty good. It's really spicy. Meat is okay, it's a little too lean for me. I wish it was fattier. But what they just did was really cool. They brought over more pieces of tofu for the spicy pot. And I read that you can also have them pack this up for you to take home, which is really nice. And I really like their Thai chutney. It's classic Thai seasoning, garlic, chilies, a lot of chilies. Mm. The spicy tofu here is really good. I've been dying to try a pig trotter as well. I like the pig trotter. Overall, I feel like the flavor of the Taiwan tofu soup is good, but when you get the fish soup, it kind of dwarves it because this one is just so flavorful. Let me get some of this fish. Mm. Fish is pretty good. But that soup is just genius. Mm. Oh, so good. And we actually have to rush a little bit. This is not an all-you-can-eat buffet, but there is a time limit. So you have a dining limit of two hours to finish your food. Mm. This is great. This fresh fuzu, fresh dry tofu. There's also a giant piece of salmon in here in the fish platter, in the seafood platter. I'm put that here. Oh, they also brought over a slush. Hmm. I got it. Lemony slush. Mmm. That feels good on my burning tongue. Try out their famous shrimp ball. Mmm. 
This is really good. Usually shrimp paste doesn't have giant chunks of shrimp in here. This one does. And it's much sweeter and bouncier and the texture is much better. That's really good. Honestly, the beef though, for something of the price of this tower, I expect a better tasting beef. The basic fatty beef at any hot pot restaurant, I feel like it's better than what they're giving you here. This might be really good quality beef, but it's just too lean. So far, shrimp paste, the dried tofu, the soup has all been sensational. Grab the piece of salmon. Oh, that's cooked nicely. Mm. Salmon is good, but if you overcook it, it's gonna be way too dry. If you get that platter, make sure to not overcook the salmon. Mm. Little clams are really good. I can't wait to taste this broth after all the seafood has been stewing in here. It's gonna be even more delicious. Sometimes a hot pot is like a washing machine slash dryer. When ingredients go in, like I just have no idea where they go. I swear there's a whole dimension out there of missing hot pot ingredients. Mm. No, oh, the apple one is so good. Perfect tenderness. So snappy and sweet. Mm. Two hours is almost up. I've been frantically drinking the soup, but they just kept refilling it. So I'm not gonna say no. The sour soup broth definitely gets diluted. I see we fill the pot. Still good though. Overall, this is a really good hot pot place. I mean, it's beautiful. All the food ingredients, so fresh. The hot pot broth is ridiculously young. Again, especially that sour cabbage fish one. With that said, it's definitely the priciest hot pot I've ever been to in my life. So this is 100% reserved for a special occasion. So comparing the two hot pot places today, I like the one we went to for lunch. It's affordable, the staff is attentive, the food's delicious, and the value, you cannot beat that. This, again, I love it. I love coming here. This experience has been amazing. The staff here is also amazing, super nice. But this is definitely a once a month, maybe a few times a year kind of place for me. And if you have ever been into the private room of this place, just, just let me know. Oh, also the place from this morning, got a free stuffed animal on an $8 lunch menu set. So, update. You are able to bring all your leftover hot pot um, home and they pack extra spicy tofu in there for you. So that's pretty good And also if you do come here a good way to kind of save a little money is you can purchase their gift card and use it right away So if you purchase a $300 gift card is $50 off. So that's a good way to save a little bit Also, I didn't know this but on a weekday before 5 o'clock the sour cabbage fish broth is free I would definitely come back here for that and make sure you don't forget leave a Google review get a free bubble milk tea